And in theory, we should be back. Hooray for the internet. Let's see what Gabar Plus Plus will do. There he is. Dang it. Spawn and play Gabor left hook plus plus. Or bottomless pockets plus plus. Oh boy. Damage a unit by 20. Hoo wee! <laughs> Gabor, you're the man. We can actually walk around in the town too. New markers, standard battles, points of interest. Cool. Wolves don't let humans into my camp. Why have we got to let them into our homes? Because all freaking said so. Wolves don't let you. Oh, shut up. That's loot. I should have it. Hey, dwarf. <laughs> Beautifully knocked those racist knob lickers do not pig. Here, <laughs> here, dear queen. <laughs> it was worth it just for that. <laughs> Beautifully knocked those racist knob lickers do not pig. Here, here, dear queen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everybody loves me. And around, around, around we go. Oh, fast travel point first. Yep. What's happening here, little dwarf dudes? Milady, couriers have arrived from Mahakam. The Zigrin's bank, to be more precise. They've arrived with several sacks heavy with coin. Your earnings from investments you made with them. Look at all that money I have already. I don't need $5,000. Let's just make my soldiers happy. Woot woot! Watch me get to the end of the game and be $5,000 short of what I need for whatever. What in the schnabitz? Name trees? This must be another lesson. Hey, what's happening here? Hey, folks. Your grace, these hovels are inhabited by elves. They're starving, for none incredible are willing to trade with them. They offer to sell what little they have for next to nothing. Mere scraps and modest coin. Give them more money than I need, I guess. I don't need anything. I need literally nothing. I don't need any of these resources. What is happening? Let me kick some more Nilfgaardian ass. What's going on, fellers? New order. The vast majority of Rivians greeted the return of their queen with joy and relief, but not all. Some quickly adapted to the new order. They stood ready to defend it, fighting side by side with the invaders, prepared to kill their fellow countrymen. Traitors! Take them all out in the standard battle. Strengthen all allies by one. Screw you, visiting ambassador. Uh, let's see. Random out of total damage taken. I really like those. That's better. Okay. I'll put one of those away. That's fine, I suppose. Oh, Rivia! Yeah. 
you freaking Rivian Pikeman. Can he only do that once? I'm assuming so. Oh, I can counter that. Here's late again. Bunch of my own dudes. And some of this action. Hundred and one, hundred and two, hundred and three. Heck. Don't like that. So. Think about slings, they hide well. and bastard. Well, that... Yeah, I took that out. Huh. Hey. Oh, now my Scepter of Storms is basically invalid. That sucks. Unless I want to... Take a whole bunch of pain from these guys. Are they just. Yeah, they're. Red me by six! I don't think. My, well, no, my guys do do, do, uh, do six damage. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Ha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take, I'll take the easy first win. Need more units with order. Didn't get any. That's fine. What's in the graveyard? Bunch of units with order. Uh, bum, 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 bum. You know what? Give me some of your dudes. Thanks. Oh my god. Look at these units he gets. Ugh. Grey Riders. No, oh, I don't like this. I ain't, I ain't cool. Have any units that can create fog? So I'm gonna put him. Don't there. Like this. Get that free card after three turns. Again and again and oh, again. Oh, you bastard! I can't kill it. Can kill those two though. Hundred and fifty-two, hundred and fifty-four. Ugh, ugh. Can't take any more. It's not good. That's Next, Ted up to. I should, but I'm gonna do it. Scrubbing duty again? Oh, gods. Freaking promising recruits, man. I didn't ever get no promising recruit. I'm gonna do this to take the big hit so that Isbel can do crazy ass damage on him. Um, you. 
not, not yet, not yet. I'm just gonna do 16 damage, that's not terrible. Back them around. And blood card. Thank you and you. You go right there. We got a job to do. You go the there. chase is on. Right on him. And I can't use that yet. New orders? No. Ah. They ran a You must sweat like the swine in that jacket. Take Off that. to the front yet again. Take that? Hell yeah. Go on, and get out. Gonna do the exact same thing here. Shh, cock it. <laughs> but I can't use this yet, so well end turn. Mommy's a waste of time for me. Oh, damn it. I screwed it up. Bastards. I only had... 36, that's not bad. Guy vettles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Hey, yeah, fill up the rows. Just fill up your rows with garbage people. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Oh, that sucks. Highest power enemy units by five. Its power is an even number, which it will be. Right there. I can't use this again. I can just kill that. So much anger and suffering. For what? That is what you folk lack. Left, right, left. Uh, what now? All right. Who's got matching powers? We got thirteens and we got tens, so we'll take. No. We're gonna play it safe and just do the tens. Can't take it anymore. Oh yes! The two damage did it! Now I don't have to kill all of these and get six, 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 six damage. Man, Stray's Cavalry, you did it. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Suckers. Ooh, even more propaganda. Attention elves, dwarves, halflings, and other vile non-humans. I, Queen Meath, hereby proclaim that on regaining my throne, you shall be punished for aiding the enemy in wartime. Your affiliation or lack thereof with the so-called squirrels is unimportant, for treacherous blood nevertheless flows through your veins, and it must be spilt. Her Majesty by right divine Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Nice. Propaganda posters.
Yeah. And Nilf Guardians. Corrupted my people? I'll take the morale boost. Thank you. What about this? There's obviously something up here. Oh, resources. With resources. Anybody else? Anything else? Coastline, hello. Okay, we have a point of interest and a standard battle. Obviously we're going to come down here, but I'm going to go here first so I can use that morale boost directly on this battle. Since I'll be going through at least two rounds and morale boosts all my cards by one, it's a worthy uh, expenditure. Hello! A little checkpoint. Oh no! Nilfgaardian Outpost. Upon noticing Neve's approach, a Nilfgaardian sentry sounded his horn. Before his tune was finished, however, he was silenced by a Lyrian arrow. Hell yes, snipers. The guard, covered in blood, slumped to the ground, lifeless. The battle's first victim had been claimed. Standard battle, let's do this. on the field already. Wounded Detwen Arbalist. Huh. Enough Guardian Scout. Every four turns on turn start, draw a card if you're losing. Well, you're always gonna be losing. Okay. Don't need you yet. Don't really need you yet. Order. Order. Perfect. That's... That's fine enough. We're finished for now. Yep. Whoa! He's already been sniped. Look My at that. Description. A bit of blood letting. You douchebag. It's really kind of too early to play him, but I want their Arbalest gone. Because I don't like Odin, those, those cards. Scrubbing duty again? Oh, gods! I really, really don't like those guys. Next turn he'll be dead. Good. New orders? No? Ah. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that'll work. Um, do 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 do. That's hey, fine. hey, don't touch that. It's perfectly usable. Ha! And then he can eat. No, no. Well, well, no. There's a turn right there. Now you better pass, chump. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. 
damn straight I'm running around. Yep, that's good. I like it. I got two good units with order. That's the only one I'd redraw is him. It's perfect. Those chunks Ours up top. To reason why. Mm, a highly curious case. Why would you even use that as a deploy? Uh, you. Left, okay. right. Left, right. Must be an important lesson in this. But what? You. <laughs> again and again and again. Oh man, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I won't use that yet. You. Yeah, yeah. It hurts him. Okay, we can go there. I live to serve you. It's gonna be a right good levy, big and beautiful. Thank you. Oh shoot. Should have done that first. Oh well. Turns, which we are going to go to three. Yes. And left, right, left. Uh, new orders for now? the people who will let me draw more cards. Guess gone. Quick and painful this will be. Bad. Regiment drummer. Yep. That's cool. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Oh yeah. Can't keep going with those for quite a while, so life is mine now. Ho, ho, ho. Just removes all the immune, right? One bullet's all I need. Oh, that 
quick. Play this, maybe I'll get a Forager, which will let me actually play the rest of my cards. Nope, no Foragers. Definitely picking you, and maybe you. Yeah, I don't have enough room for one you just the one. Don't shake that! Keep hoping he'll actually kill somebody. Black. He's almost, he's almost got it. Oh, well, he's got two cards to do 100 and almost 20. Now there's a space open for my slinger. Oh well. Hundred and one. Hundred and two. Hundred and Why three. didn't he put that? Why didn't he play that way earlier? Oh, I'm trying to surrender. No, you die, dude. Or I guess he just surrenders. To your most honorable Nilf Guardian Sirius, I hear to inform you that my neighbor Raslov, a cheat and a liar, has hid many a riches for your most grand collectors. Here be a map for your highly esteemed sirs for you highly esteemed sirs, drawn by myself, of course, which shows where he stashed his goods. Don't spare Raslov a single lash, he deserves the harshest punishment. It goes without saying. I'm writing this denunciation <laughs> Jesus Christ for the noblest of reasons. Still, I'd not refuse a reward for turning the bugger in. Milovac, you douchebag. Take all these things. And now, among other things, we have to make sure that that map is not doesn't point anywhere here. Sure didn't look like it. Trees across a bridge. There's only one bridge. Two bridge. So we'll go back to the point of interest over here. Even more loot. Gee whiz. Some over here too. As the Lyrians passed a cemetery marching along its ivy-covered wall, they heard mourners wailing pitifully to a priestess's moving song. The soldiers dutifully lowered their heads. Their minds sought out fallen comrades and kin, and they wondered whom else the war would yet claim. <clears throat> Listen, said Gascon, stirring me from her own meditation. I think I'll veer off for a bit. What for? To offer your condolences? In a manner of speaking. But just go on. I'll rejoin you soon.
Hmm. Now here's an actual interesting decision. I follow him and see what's going on. I respect his wishes. Hmm. Hmm. I'll let him, uh, I'll let him do what he wants. Meave nodded, spurred her mount, and rode on. By nightfall, Gascon had indeed rejoined the force. Ignoring his companion's inquisitive looks, he simply sat and stared fixedly into the fire. Meave thought Gascon would explain his absence, hmm. or at the very least devise a witty excuse for absconding. But he never uttered a word. Well, damn it. Hey, tell me what Gascon was doing here. Oop. From Reginald to Courageous to Father Danilo, to caretaker of Getterwood Cemetery. Pardon my gnomish, but I don't give a flying rat's arse about peace for the dead. You'll do as you've been told. Dig up the broussards, chop them into bits, and burn them to ash. Jeez. And be sure to turn them statues and gravestones to rubble. If you ever refuse me again, I'll make sure you share the same fate as those traitors. Well, golly. That's not very nice. Oh, why have they left us? Look, why? Move that candle. To the left. No, no, I, uh... Oh. Well, I should have followed him. I didn't want him to get grumpy, though. What's all down here then? What the hell? I am in the wolf's crazy tongue. This is an area not even on the map. Oh my good gracious. A puzzle battle with a weird priest dude. Oh, through the fourth wall. I found an Easter egg. That's a trophy. This whole place, best believe that. Hello, friend. What's happening? Also, I'm taking your lumber. Hey, buddy. The cost of ambition. Some people do whatever is necessary to realize their ambitions cut any deal, pay any price. For example, there was once a young Rivian man who sold his soul to master the arcane magical arts. To whom did he sell it, you might ask? Well, it's safer not to utter his name. Banish all enemy cards before yours are banished. Puzzle special rules short and battle custom deck. Let's do it! Stuff is happening. Every turn on turn start, banish two random enemy cards. Gas got no ability. Reveal two cards. If they're identical, repeat this ability. Okay, well. Those two cards if they're identical. What does this, what does this, what does this do? Oh, that's black. Rayla. Like Rayla and the dude. Okay. That's Sir Ake. That's Gabor. Gascon. His bell. Oh, 
Reynard. Nickers. Okay, Nickers and Nickers. Black Rayla. And Black Rayla. No, damn it, Caldwell. So then Black Rail is here. Yep. Well, that's Raynard. What's this? That's the dude. He's there. Yep. Guess Gabor's here. Caldwell's right below. Ake is here. This bell's over there. Raynard's there. God damn, I'm good! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Suck it, you ghost! God damn, I'm good. Ooh, black blood. Cool. And a golden chest. Xavier, you frickin' traitor. I, Amadeus Ritterhoff, in exchange for thorough knowledge of the arcane magical arts, hereby pledge my soul. I shall repay my debt only at such time when the sun rises over Rivia in the dark of night. I sign this contract with my blood in full understanding that it cannot, under any circumstance, be breached. That was a bad idea, buddy. Let's see what that black blood card does. Holy moly. I remember playing those memory games when I was a kid. I was the best. Good thing it paid off here. Where's the black blood card? Oh, there it is. Damage all enemies by one and boost an ally by the same amount. That's not bad. I like what I got, though. My setup is the A plus best. Duke of New York, A number one. Oh, can I not even get back to the road from here? Oh, wow. Alright, cool. We found some old cursed dude and kicked his ass. With my memory! of interest. Oh, it's a monster nest. Hello, monster nest. Let me get this very necessary lumber first. My lady, Neckers have nested in the field. The beasts have a nasty habit of hoarding stolen trinkets. We may unearth some of them, but I cannot guarantee we'll escape without losses. Oh man, ache. My oh, man. Sure, I'll get more unnecessary resources for the cost of some unnecessary resources. Heck yeah, I did it. I did that thing. I see more resources up here behind this house. Gotta have them. And here, if I can just just take it from him, uh, I I can spend a hundred bucks on that. Oh, there's some kind of weird ghosty thing. Heck yeah. I guess you're just a hunter, huh? A likely story.
Who hunts with a sword? I guess anybody's smart in this monster strewn land that we live in. Well, we are main quest bound. And I have not seen hide nor hair of any of the treasure map things. We still have a long, long way to go in the rest of the uh, the map here. The Devil's Tower. We draw near, Your Grace. Oh dear. No sign of villain yet, far as I can see. Unsurprising. Prompt he never was. Well, I'm gonna start making the Devil's Tower out of mashed potatoes here. Well, that's a that's a really crummy looking place there. Okay. The Queen had chosen to meet Willem at Devil's Tower, and not without purpose. The structure stood on an aisle, so no foe could approach without first exposing themselves on a narrow bridge. The aisle had little vegetation midst which to conceal a large force. A small unit could evade detection. Altogether, not much to fear. Hmm. <laughs> No escorts were your terms, began Gascon, with a hint of mischief. But better safe than sorry, I always say. What are you suggesting? Yours truly, and four chaps, behind the walls. Give a signal, any signal, and we'll leap to your side. Meave struggled with her conscience. <laughs> there was no honor in Gascon's plan, but prudence, certainly. In the end, she nodded in agreement. Damn straight. But not without compunction. Oh, <laughs> poor piff. Willem arrived soon after. The heavily armored cavalry he had in tow clearly there to boost his courage. He left them at the foot of the bridge and rode across alone. A stiff wind from the river nearly made off with his ermine fur cloak. Damn weasel kid. Willem and the mother who'd borne him stood face to face. They gazed into each other's eyes, waiting to see who would look away first. When neither did, Meave broke the silence. Time flies, and I have a kingdom to liberate. No need to drag this out. What's this about? Tell me. Give him a thrashing, Meave. I thought my messenger already did. Oh, he did. And how? Willem I wishes to arrange a truce. Only, Willem I is in no position to parley on an equal footing. Willem I can, at most, offer his unconditional surrender, because Willem I's losing this war. Damn straight. Yes, Mother. I am. And I see that by losing I've at last made you content. Eh, don't play the victim, you weasel. <laughs> don't play the victim. What next? Will you say you turned cloak because Mummy showed no warmth, displayed no feelings? Ha! <laughs> would be unfair any such judgment you did show feelings chiefly enmity contempt but that's not why I betrayed you no I simply disagreed with your choices assessments you can't assess I don't even know you can't even assess breakfast I had every right to do what I considered just and good and I had every right to voice my view which you ever ignored Damn teenagers. <sighs> Yet this is neither the time nor the place to discuss that. Let us parley as strangers. I'm losing, you say. And you're right. But I haven't lost yet. And have no intention to surrender. <sighs> I am ready, however, to renounce my fealty to the Empire and pledge my forces to you. As long as you fulfill my conditions. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me hear them. First, you will not rescind the reforms I've authorized already, any of them. What are they? Second, you will guarantee both my safety and that of my advisors. No. Nope. Third, I shall remain your heir and next in line for the throne. Nope. Well, I'm not accepting those terms. They are unacceptable. The only question is whether to arrest him. 
I must yeah. admit, I was wrong about you. I'm not certain what you mean. How so? Always I thought you unremarkable, average, but this insolence today is anything but dull. It's unparalleled. Ah. Did you truly think I could forgive you? After you betrayed me, humiliated me so. Not worthy of my crown, that's what you are. Not now, not ever. Damn straight. Oh my. Then we shall meet on the battlefield. The battlefield? <laughs> Sooner put you over my knee and whip you with my crop, boy. There you go. Gascon, grab him. With utmost pleasure. Damn straight, Gascon. Yeah, tie him up. What? But we... How could you? Idiot. It seems betrayal taints our blood, son. Take him away. Meave turned her back on Willem. Mm. Now and for all time. Damn straight. Till the war's end, he remained in chains. And after? I'll tell you soon enough. <laughs> soon thereafter, Meave's army set out towards Rivia Castle. It would not be long now before the decisive battle. Damn straight. Villain, you damn weasel. Letter to Villem. To Villem from Duke Ardalep Dahi. The proposal to convert the transport of slaves to tribute paid in gold has been firmly declined. Nilfgaard does not need coin that it has in excess, but laborers. I do not wish to discuss this matter any further. Like any vassal, you have duties to your empire which you must fulfill. If you do not designate the settlements to be taken into slavery yourself, I shall do it for you. Man, eh, that sounds about right. Oh, see, I wouldn't have had that option if I kicked Gascon out of the party. All those moons go. Aha, here's one of those treasure map areas. It's going to be right across this bridge here. Just got to check every single spot for everything. Dig it up. Golden chest. Prince Villem card. Oh. So if I had accepted his terms, maybe I'd have a Prince Villem card. Screw that. I would never do that. Damn weasel kid. Hello, standard battle. See you. Coming for you. But first, yet more resources. So just keep piling on and piling on. Oh, my gang of lovable, lovable rogues. Standard battle, goodies, things. Going on across this bridge that's not finished. Your Grace, said Reynard, saluting and clicking his heels. Peasants from the Scala region have arrived at camp. Supplicants, wishing to deliver a plea to your person. Meave sighed. Supplicants, trials, audiences, all aspects of queendom she did not miss. Very ha. well, bring them here, she replied. And instruct them to be brief, with no digressions. The band of commoners was led by a sturdily built beekeeper dubbed Ethelred, son of Theobald. Finding himself in the Queen's presence, he fell to his knees and waved his arms in his best impression of proper etiquette. Oh, my lady, the Queen, your gracious mightiness, take pity on us tillers and toilers. Was all around leaving us but scraps to live off and belly, that to be honest. So we beg you, don't do it. Don't raise the levers. We can't pay more than... What? Meave interrupted. What the devils are you talking about? Uh. What? Your decree? One they nailed to our notice board. The Look at that picture. Said, sheepishly pulling out a parchment and pointing to the relevant paragraph with his rough finger. We, Queen Meave, do hereby proclaim that if our throne we shall recover, the tallage, murage, and... Pavage we shall raise threefold. The expenses of this war, 
for to compensate at the cost of the common folk. Stupid common folk. Why would you believe that? Meave and Reynard exchanged astonished glances. They had issued no such decree. Yet the document bore her signature and seal. Perhaps it was Willem's doing. Impossible. Meave said firmly. My really? son sank low, but not so low as to forge my name. Then Come on. who fabricated this decree? The Nilf Guardians. The Queen replied without hesitation. They have access to my seal, to my scribes. They wish to spread fear, uncertainty, mm. and doubt. Turn my folk against me. And they are liars without any honor. The Queen tore the falsified document to shreds. Knowing this would solve nothing. She had to find the printers churning out these fakeries. And end their run. Hell yes. We're going to burn down a print shop here. Awesome. That's the best. Where you at, print shop? <laughs> Please tell me you're right here. Are you, are you, are you printers? Can I sneak through? I can. Metal Gear Meave over here. It's a point of interest. That might be the, the print shop. Puzzle battle. Another point of interest. Are you printers? I'll not stand for that. Let me tell you. Oh, another notice board. Oh, there, okay. I, Queen Meave, hereby proclaim that whoever, whosoever has aided the Nilfgaardian war effort shall face punishment of the highest severity. Whosoever has bartered with, repaired equipment for, or eaten fare made by a Nilf Guardian shall receive 30 lashes. Finally, whosoever has taught them our language or served as guide shall be executed in the slowest possible manner. This is a, this is a badass queen here. Who's printing this nonsense? I'm gonna cut these guys down. Frolics and Revels. Nilf Guardians too enjoy merrymaking, to dance, sing, and drink. The black clads who indulged in these amusements at the roadside in the Fox Tale had not expected other guests would join them. Oh man, we got a brawl in the tavern. Standard battle though, so usual stuff. doing what usual enough guardian commander stuff you go away that works you go away you go away and you and you and you Damn it. okay start off with my Rivian point men all shout Rubbing duty again, oh gods. Three, one, two, nine. That'll work. Put him there. Come on, just take the whole finger. Yeah. Have it the white of an eye from our folly away. Oh, oh. Let her do that, and then he. Oh, unless it's him. Okay, whatever. Good. That's what I wanted. Oh. 
<laughs> Figured he'd probably pass. But I'll pass too. Of course I won the round. Are you kidding me? Yep. Yep. Yep, I like those. First thing I'm doing is I'm taking you dudes. Blood card. You. And you. Left, right, left, right. Hmm. Oh, I haven't technically played anyone yet. <laughs> that was not in the spell books. I guess I'll play you. There's a time to rest. A time to sow. And a time to die. Destroy the next unit played from the Okay. That's fair. Well, you're going there. I'm a You're going there. What do you want of me? You're going there. Pam, not supposed to be any smoke. Bloody. Damage three units by three. I'll take that. That's gone. And then they get a little hurt. Good deal. What do you got, Nilfgaard? Wise Come on. Choice. Get that charge yet. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. What? In two turns, we'll just go on the road towards the opponent. So if I had filled up this row, he would stay with me. But now he's going to go up one, and he's going to go across. It's fine. It's not very good. We got a job to do. Uh, I shouldn't have put him there. Whatever. Let's see. An army's a waste of time for one like me. Asks, you've not seen me. Ouch. Well, 
Watch your heads! <laughs> That's fine. Oh, my boots I've got sand or plenty in them. And pass. What you got? With three cards. Get up there. Get moving. A grotto doom anime is best. We got close. This is a ridiculous amount of stuff. Hello, that's a troll. What's up, troll in a puzzle battle? The Troll Gourmand. Oh, it's my buddy! In one of Rivia's many caverns dwells a blind troll known to locals as Sniff Sniff. Okay, it's not my buddy. He is often seen along roadsides where he greets weary travelers and warmly invites them to his cave for soup. On occasion, utterly drained from hunger, some actually accept the offer and follow the troll to his home. They soon realize, however, that they'll not enjoy a single slurp of his soup, but rather become a key ingredient in it. Oh, come on, sniff sniff. Play the ingredient card that matches the scent of each unit. Sometimes throwing an ally into the fire is the best way out. Puzzle special rules short and battle custom deck. Ingredient card that matches the scent of each unit. Hmm. Every turn the turn start, consume the leftmost card on the melee row. If there was an ingredient, remove one power from troll soup. If it was a unit, me boost the battle. Okay, well, so he can't have anybody. Roots and herbs. Cheap booze and garlic stewed in the gut. So, roots and herbs. booze and garlic. Well, it's gonna be that. The corpses. That's skulls. And this guy picks mushrooms, which is gonna be the mushrooms. That wasn't very hard. Huzzah! I can read cards and play cards that match what they say. <laughs> Even more resources that I don't need. 
Sorry, Sniff Sniff. I didn't want to kill you. Uh, map. Is this the print shop? I'm, bur I'm burning it to the ground. Oi, Mavis! Yes. Cried Gascon. As usual, paying no heed to courtly etiquette. Come here a minute. Would it hurt so terribly to occasionally address me by your grace or your majesty? Didn't want to be petty, but since you bring it up, you've never once addressed me as the Duke of Dogs. Uh, sure I have. Eve sighed, rolling her eyes. Get on with it. My lads jumped one of the black clad's transports. Guess what they were hauling? Gascon handed Neve a pot filled to the brim with a thick, dark fluid. Mm. Paint? Close. Ink. Prince's ink. Oh, Same yeah. Same used in those phony decrees. Meave oh, spun yeah. on her heel, put a hand to her mouth, and yelled, Reynard, send scouts to calm the area. Her soldiers returned a few hours later with good news. They were able to find a Nilfgaardian printer's workshop yeah. hidden in an abandoned barn. Yeah. It was guarded by a division of elite infantry. Right. So? Gascon thumbed the edge of his blade. Shall we stop the presses? Hell yes. <laughs> we're gonna burn the print shop down. Time for the Nilfgaardians to publish a retraction. Spoke the queen as she drew her sword. Signed with their own blood. Follow me! The Lyrians did not need to be told twice. Their queen's honor, her good name, that was a cause well worth fighting for. Damn straight. Please tell me there's like rolls of paper that you gotta set on fire. Wartime propaganda. One Nilfgaardian propaganda pamphlet reads as follows. Meave, a faint and timid woman, has not the courage nor strength to defend the country in times of war. They would soon see, however, that this claim was on every account false short in battle let's burn it down who's, who's over here the two units destroyed boost self by six and damage all enemy units by two screw that guy uh, are these bosses? They are bosses. So this guy is useless. Hmm. Perfect. That'll do. It's... it's her! Yes, you fool her! Sound the alarm! Larum! <laughs> Life is mine now. Ouch. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. choice Hell 
cats out. Yeah. Thing about slings, they hide well. to the front yet again. Yeah. Ouch. So that thing has to die. It's not immune anymore. Got our manage. That gained a full week. Push it up, bring it back down. turn for now. Figured that would happen. Yeah. Crap. Oh, every unit's destroyed at all. I can't use that on him. Oh, damn it. Take that. Quiet. Oh, the commissar will hear. That's good. I'll do this then. And this. Something from nothing, it's exactly what I do. Swap you. Ah, shice in tight. Front yet again. Yeah. Let's see. Can I do about twenty. You and you. That should do it. Right. Without hesitation. Because he'll actually do his oh. what he does. Yep. Lyrian Lumixes. Boom. They weren't expecting us. 
Seems they believe their own Blarney. Suckers. The Nilfgaardians fought fiercely, led by a seasoned covert agent. Seeing he would soon fall into enemy hands, he put a knife to his throat and, in a quick slash, sent blood pouring over paper and still wet ink. Reynard leapt towards him, trying to stanch the red tide. But it was too late, now and the spy's die. secrets perished with his last gargled breath. Neve picked up a freshly printed pamphlet. The document listed her many crimes and misdeeds, the true and the manufactured alike. Above the main body of the text, an etching depicted her, well, in a very unflattering manner. How ha! about a taste of their own medicine? Asked Gascon, piecing blocks of type into a scathingly foul phrase. Nice. Me and the lads will scratch out a couplet about Epdahi. Spread it around the countryside. Give the folk a hearty laugh at those tossers' expense. I like it. Man, as much as I want to burn down the print shop, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna make our own propaganda. Please tell me I get a card that's like Nilfgaardian propaganda card. That would be amazing with a, a crudely drawn Nilfgaardian commander. Yes. These presses should be put to good use, the Queen said. But printing lewd jests is not it. Oh, come on. We must spread facts. Tell what the Nilfgaardians did in Aldersburg. How they tried to murder me in Mahakam and Angren. What fate lies in store for those they conquer. Gascon grew serious and set the ink-stained type back down. Get to work. Before the sun sets, I wish to hold the first document in my hands. And, and, and make a lewd couplet. Please. Soon, in every town, village, Holy and tavern, moly. there hung a notice detailing Nilfgaard's crimes. The outraged Rivians did what they could to strengthen the Queen's army, some by offering coin, others by joining her ranks. More useless resources. Look at all these resources I'm getting. Good lord. Here. Okay. What's up, guy? Nilfgaard left none alive in Rosberg. Not even one woman. And no child was spared. It's true. Peasants from Edirne have been captured and put to work by force. Nilfgaard now prepares the same fate for Rivia and all Rivians. True. Emperor Emir Var Emerys is a Fran imposter. A Fran Doppler. I don't know about that, but okay. Nilfgaard left none alive in Rosberg. Emperor Emir Var... Well, we didn't burn down the print shop today. But we did, we did the right thing instead. So I guess that's a win. Quite a ways to go still. So we're going off the beaten path, of course. Oh, hello. Uh, don't remember what those are called. Disgusting things. Oh. Ravenholm. Oh, Ravenholm. Wait a minute. The locals had a warning for the queen. We don't go to Ravenholm. After Nilf Guardians had scorched the village, beasts claimed what remained. For a time, the venerable Grigory, mad with grief, resisted them. Until they finally tore him to shreds, that is. Boost one unit to at least 125 power. Use your leader's ability. Okay, puzzle special rule, shorten battle custom deck. Uh-oh. Damage all units by one and boost an ally by the amount of there you go. Force an Arrakis drone to consume adjacent horizontal and vertical units. The power of any consumed is odd. Boost Arrakis drone by its power. It was even. 
damage hit by its power. Huh. Holy moly. What in the world just happened? Should do it, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. Playing around with numbers. Straight, lady. Misfortune has befallen me. Those without mercy attack me without cause. Woe to all, for our final resting place is far, and we but wander blindly in the realm of chaos. Good mother, I play, pray your light never fades. Hear me and slay my enemies when I shout thy name. Nilfgaard will not spit in our moors! Lady, the traitors run before you. Find me a map, and I'll show you where they buried the loot. Nice! Cool, behind a tower thing. Thanks, lady. Rivia will never die so long as we are alive. Damn straight, you tell him. Also, what's back here? It surely can't be nothing. It's nothing. These lands, they look familiar to you? Naturally, Your Grace. They're the venerable Count Caldwell's. War, death, chaos. Everywhere but here. This land's positively pastoral. Hmm. What's going on here, tent? Your Majesty, we found corpses in the tents. Traveling merchants, it appears. Seems they were killed whilst they slept, drained of blood to the last drop. We've already buried the bodies, but don't know what you wish to do with their wares. Take them. Sure, something bad will come of that. Hello, more loot.
Fast travel. Yeah, what's what what is this? But first, get some dudes. And then get some bullet board. You are entering the estate of Palatine Caldwell, Log Live the Emperor. Oh, we're gonna burn it down. We're gonna burn it. Oh, also there are enough guardian banners hanging here. Let's see what they want. The traitorous Caldwell family's residence loomed into view. Against the horizon, it looked suitably sinister. Yet the manor had changed since Meave last saw it. Two new wings, ornate towers, a grand colonnade. And the windows now glistened with stained glass, the gilded hue of imperial suns. We must pay them a visit, seethed the queen. The great double doors opened with an echoing thud. Just inside them stood the heir to the estate, Dragomir, his wife and three children by his side, and Helena, the treacherous Count's widow. Sliding the cap from his head, thus giving proof of the family's hereditary baldness, ha. Dragomir knelt down upon one knee. Never trust a bald man. Your grace, my father's betrayal stands beyond doubt and exoneration. The young Caldwell said flawlessly and in a single breath as if he'd practiced a dozen times. And his death at your hands was most well deserved. I ask that you not punish sons for the sins of their fathers. I ask humbly with bowed head. Allow me to stay on my ancestral lands, to serve faithfully as your loyal subject. I believe not a word slithering out of his mouth, whispered mm. Reynard. The first chance he gets to stab you in the back, he will take. Well, I trust you, Reynard. And these are wormy Caldwell people. Get out. Convenient to make this request now, don't you think? Why not earlier? Meave asked crossing her arms and raising her chin. It would have behooved you to send a messenger once I'd crossed into Rivia. Uh, preferred to speak to you directly, Your Grace, for... For you held out hope. Hope that the Blackclads would yet defeat me. Mm. You stood on their side till the last. No. The Coldwells I trusted once, but I shan't make that error again. You've one day to pack your chattels and go. Leave my country. Dragomir rose from his knee and shook out the cap he'd crushed in supplication. Only ever as a corpse, your majesty. He hissed, his vulnerable demeanor gone in a flash. If you'll not take me for your vassal, you must take me as your foe. Men, two arms! At this oh, sight, yeah. armed men rushed from the house while archers appeared atop the roof. Clearly, Dragomir had expected to be refused. Good. Now I get to tear him apart. The Caldwell Legacy. The old adage, the apple does not fall far from the tree, proved true once again. Dragomir was as loyal as his father. He did, however, dis differ in one respect. He demonstrated competence in combat, presenting greater resistance than Meave had anticipated. Optional, overpower your opponent within five turns. Special rules, shortened battle. I can possibly do that. I am a badass, you know. Must 
Tyrex willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Elven Blarney. Greetings. What is it? Don't buy this. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Sweat like a swine in that jacket. I believe to your command. <laughs> this could hurt. Tell me you jest. I a lot of pikemen. Fifty, baby. One gold is all I need. <laughs> oh. Now we can use this. Can I use that? Not bad. Come on, kill somebody. <laughs> Didn't kill any of my guys. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just burn that card real quick. What you got? Father, 
was right about you. Damn straight, son. I'm the best. Ooh, a shrike. Dragomir lay in the courtyard of his extravagant manor. With the last of his strength, he clawed at the colored gravel. He resembled an insect that was hurt, damaged, yet pulled itself along as if it could somehow escape death. The queen knelt beside him and gazed into his clouded eyes. I want you to know your family will be looked after. You've relatives in Kedwin. They'll be sent there, properly escorted, with the proper stipend. Dragomir wished to say something, but choked on his own blood. He was dead a moment later. The queen slowly stood and gave the order to march. She rode at the front of the column, deep in thought. I have a report. Letter from Caldwell. Dragomir, my health is well, thank you for asking. I have other troubles, though. I have it from a good source, Meave has left Mahakam with dwarven recruits supplementing her ranks. I suspect she might mean to pay me a visit. True. As absurd as it sounds, in light of recent events, I have begun to entertain the possibility that vile wretch might actually succeed in liberating Lyria and Rivia. As they say, fools have all the luck. In that case, do not count on mercy. I know her well, and trust me, never has a more vengeful, malicious woman walked this world. As soon as you hear she's crossed the border, put your men on high alert. Kiss your wife and children. I hope we shall see each other soon. Well, you will see each other soon, right now. And let's see what that new card is. Damage a unit by 10. If it survived, boosted by 25. Interesting. Don't keep a lot of boost cards, though. Mostly just murder. Murder, steal, and play cards. Look at all these things I'm getting. Gee whiz. Hey, the golden chest. Hello. Hello, I see you. Yeah, buddy. Oop. I was going to say, and that's all for that bastard's house, but nope, it wasn't. All right. Keep on rolling through. I forgot those already. Yeah. Rolling board. Oh my, so many points of interest. Holy smokes. I'm gonna go up here for the standard battle. Because I have high morale right now. Although well, there is one down here too. <laughs> That's monstrous. This is probably Nilf Guardians, I'm assuming. Oh, sweet. There's a morale shrine. Well, I'll spend this high morale in this battle. And then get high morale for the other standard battle. What's up, Nilf Guardians? Oh, oh, good thing. Wake up call. Crouching in the dark, the Lyrians observed the Nilf Guardian garrison in silence. They watched as fires were extinguished, as echoes grew quiet. Finally, once the barracks were quiet with sleep, only lone sentries remained atop the walls. Then the queen gave the order to strike. It was time to give the rouse the invade. It was time to give the rouse the invaders from their peaceful slumber. Typo. Standard battle anyway. A 
anybody on the battlefield. Damage an enemy. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you yet. That'll work. Sod it. Sod it all. Ow. I warned you. Damn science. Oh, bogus. Pays late again. Just, just pass, guy. You can't make it. Sorry, Scythman, you're going uh, out for no reason. To me, old lady. Riders, buddy. Yes. I live to serve you. Oh, great rider, come on, man. Oh, a different ally. Well, I guess that's fair. To play. The answer is obvious. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. <sighs> I should have moved him. Duh. Me. 
Okay. You might not make it there. Off to the front yet again. Woo! You will, but just barely. him so we could get some extra room there. So I can do one. That should work. Yep. Get over here. No, he's dead. Oh well. Twelve to thirty two, that's not bad. Ba Bam. I have even more things. Give me more things. Mistaken. That should be just outside of here, looks like. Yeah, looks like it should be down here. Yep. But first, get a little morale boost here. Go eat up some monsters down here. Hey, monsters. Sounds like a werewolf to me. Mass grave. The Lyrian army approached Lindahem, the village Sergeant Niedemeyer called home. Niedemir. 
I'm sure it's fine. He was eager to hold his family in a loving embrace, recount his adventures, introduce his wife to the queen. Yet the chimney spewed no smoke, no light flickered through closed shutters, and a bit further beyond the village, a deep, dark pit. What did it hold, you ask? Ha! Ah, you clearly aren't familiar with war. Not bad, storyteller. Standard battle. Every two turns, alternate between two abilities. Damage a random enemy by the number of allies or heal all of your units. Not you. Not you. Not you. That one's fine. No. Good. No. him being resilient. Do this, it'll do 18 damage spread across random enemies. This will do 20. And I get Nickers out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should just pass with the... No! Damn it. Screw it. There, it died. Good. Now I'll pass. Spent too many cards. I don't like that. Okay, those are all right. You first. Curse you, traitors. Jesus. You second. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. Tell me you jest. 
You can try to win them all, but you won't. Take the whole finger. Keep both of those. Damage there. Yeesh. Left, right, left, right. Creepers. Time to sow and time to die. Jesus. Okay. This will kill a regenerator. This will kill one of the wolves. Now I don't even need to mess with it, but bring him down to six that down to six and pass and I win. Woo!
Well, we found the pit. Your Majesty, I advise you to come no closer. This trench, it seems no guardian soldiers have repurposed it as a mass grave. They count nearly two dozen bodies. Now we'll prepare a proper burial and get my people all buffed up. How close are we getting to the, uh... Okay, we're gonna come here, we're gonna get this loot. We're gonna go get that, uh, that treasure that's over here somewhere. Hello, loot. Map. Okay. Or loot. Okay, good, I can get around here. Hello, golden chest. Alright. Well, so are these all little guard posts? Or? Oh, they're just guarding the town. Well, I think... We've plowed our way through about... A little over half of the map. I think that's a good stopping point. So it'll give us a nice... Nice goodly amount to go through on the next stream. Which is when... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll call it. I, I, I was debating whether or not to. But I think we will. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll catch you guys on the next stream. Next. I'm really bad at ending this. Catch you guys on the next stream. See you then.